Hello and welcome to ID Times UK. This week we spoke with human rights activist and former political prisoner Ebenezer Akwanga on the struggle for independence in southern Cameroon. This region became part of the Republic of Cameroon in 1961. The people of the southern Cameroon were asked to decide on two difficult situations. It was like jumping into a deep sea or into a burning furnace. What did they say? Do you want independence by joining the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which was already independence, or do you want independence by joining the Republic of Cameroon? We were never asked, do you want independence? The Southern Cameroon's Youth League was born. Our goal was simple. We want the total and unconditional independence of the Southern Cameroons. We do not want that type of independence which was given to us in a teaspoon. Everything has been taken from us. Our culture is almost destroyed. Our language is at its worst end. And like I, like I often said, the only thing which the Republic of Cameroon has not taken from us is our ability to breathe. I don't think the Southern Cameroons will be seceding from Cameroon. You secede from something that you were originally a part of. We have never been part of Cameroon. So we cannot be seceding from Cameroon. We are asking for a simple, understandable separation under international law. Akwanga was arrested in 1997 and subjected to torture due to his political activism. After leaving his homeland in 2003, Akwanga filed a petition against Cameroon for human rights violations. In 2011, the United Nations Human Rights Committee found that Cameroon had breached several civil and political rights during Akwanga's detention. However, he has not received any compensation yet. I went through one of the worst dehumanizing imprisonment that the world has ever known. I was locked up for two years in solitary confinement. But before then, I was sexually molested by female security guards. I had electric shocks put on specific parts on my, on my body, including my genitals. I carry marks of torture on my body. This is one, the boot of a gun, with an attempt to pull out my teeth. But during the period of solitary confinement, I was fed with human feces and urine to survive for two weeks. That is what they gave me. The international community and the United Nations Human Rights Committee does not have enforcement mechanism. The Cameroon government is using that loophole to punish me the most. I fought for freedom. I didn't stole plantains from somebody's farm. I didn't steal a car. I didn't rob a bank. I didn't embezzle state funds. No. If I had a crime, it is because I said years ago, as I'm saying today, that my people need to be free. That is what I said. And that freedom is not the prerogative of a certain group of people. It is for all mankind because man was first born free. <laughs> 